What's up guys, Sal here. So the unpacked event for the foldables will take place in less than two weeks at this point and Samsung has released a new trailer to hide the next big thing. Take a look. Why change a good thing? Good question. This was once a good thing. This was also once a good thing. But at some point, they've all changed for the better. And once we experience better, we never go back. So here's a better question. Is good good enough? The video starts with Samsung showing old phones, feature phones, clamshells and other old QWERTY keypad mobiles that were popular in their times from brands like Nokia, HTC and Blackberry. Then it tells why change is a good thing which resulted in phones being evolved into touchscreen devices with extremely thin bezels and upgraded cameras. And the video asks us an important question, is good good enough, implying that the foldables are here to take over which then shows the Galaxy Z Fold 3 opening up to show some Inception movie like graphics. The video does a good job at hyping people up but considering the response we are getting to our Z Fold 3 videos as well as to Samsung's official trailer video, people aren't really excited for the unpacked event this time which should give Samsung a sign that the Z Fold 3 isn't ready to fill the shoes of the Galaxy Note. It seems like one community manager at Samsung Korea accidentally posted a banner stating that the Galaxy S21 series 1 UI Beta 4 is coming soon. The teaser doesn't mention any date but simply said that some users would be able to experience the new Galaxy interface with Android 12 in the not too distant future. According to the latest reports, it is expected to begin in September starting with the Galaxy S21 lineup. Samsung's tablets will see a big push next year. Similar to the Galaxy S lineup, there will be three Galaxy Tab S8 scheduled to launch alongside the Galaxy S22. Those are Tab S8, S8 Plus and S8 Ultra. We talked about these tablets three months ago where almost every specifications of these tablets was revealed through a Samsung survey that has been leaked. But Samsung three months later decided to copyright strike my video saying that I've signed an NDA which is number one book. So I'm not gonna mention those specs again but iCineverse has revealed battery capacities of S8 Plus and S8 Ultra which are some of the biggest battery packs you can find in any tablet. The S8 Ultra has extremely thin bezels, Samsung still cannot compete with Apple in terms of software and silicon but the S8 Ultra will try to counter that with ridiculous hardware. Anyway do consider subscribing for all the latest tech news and as always I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.